area. Destiny, obviously y'all played shorthanded today. You knew you had to bring it from the get-go at the point guard position. Obviously you put up a nice nice stat line there. Just how, how big was this team to, to get this win when you're, when you're missing so many players today? Yeah, it was a great win for us. Um, Troy's a really good team, and I think we're just better. I think we were tough tonight, and uh, we just came out and showed them and played our best. And it was a great game, and I feel like we really made a huge step forward, um, even though we were short on numbers. Cora. Does you look just really, really confident today? You were hunting your shot. What has helped you settle in? You know, what was your mindset going today, especially knowing you, you didn't have Powell to, to come in? Well, I've just been really aggressive at practice all week, and uh, I have some really great teammates that just made it easy for me tonight. So, had a really good game, and I couldn't have done it without them. Um, yeah. Destiny, specifically, how does Jazz moving out impact what, what you do as a team on the defensive end of the floor? Um, obviously, Jazz is a really good defender, and we miss her, but we're a tough team, and I think it just shows how deep we are, and we just get it done. Um, obviously, I mean, Kyle Williams and Peck showed them stats tonight, but it felt like when she was in with you guys could really push the pace and transition. Just how did her presence on the court tonight help um, you, you know, run the offense and help you guys kind of build that lead in the third quarter? Yeah, Kyle's really good. Um, she's a really good defender, so we can break out and get easy layups, push it in transition. She can push the ball, make layups. So I feel like with her on the floor, we can just play fast and get easy buckets, and we did. Dusty, I think I talked to a magician one time on Twitter. You disappear in the paint. I can't even find you, and then the ball is going off and in. Just, I mean, is this a childhood thing? Did you practice that? Just how are you so good at finishing in traffic? Uh, well, I can't reveal my secrets. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> can't reveal my secrets. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, we'll let Dusty go to radio. <laughs> <laughs> so Dusty. <Thank> <laughs> Questions for Kara or Jillian? Uh, we'll go with Cora and then Maria. Um, if both of you guys can answer this, I mean, you both crushed the boards tonight, um, both in double digits and rebounding. Um, was that just kind of like a focus thing, an effort thing? Like, where do you feel like you guys really excelled tonight to show those numbers? Yeah, I think going in, we knew that Troy was going to be a good uh, rebounding team. So I think that it was a really big emphasis um, for us to, you know, it was a challenge for us to try and beat them um, in that aspect. And it's it's honestly been a emphasis in practice from the start. So I think that it's nice that um, we're finally kind of getting the groove and um, making our presence known on the offensive glass. Like Carol said, it's a very high standard for us to get rebounds, um, just at a high number and just really going going to get it. Um, like she said, we're getting better and better at it every game, so I'm just ready for the next one. Maria and then Chloe. Julia, you were nodding a lot when Dusty was answering. The last game, she looked a little tentative when she came in. This game, she was on from the tip. Just, she kept crediting y'all. What were you saying to her? Or how were y'all in her ear? This, you know, this game getting her ready. I mean, we were just saying, like, she's a baller. She's been doing this for many, many years. Just trust um, trust your abilities. She's a really, really good punk guard. Like you said, she's a magician. She can pass, score. You know, she's good on defense. She can do it all around. So we're just telling her to, you know, trust her abilities and just do her. Chloe and Nicora. Uh, like we kept saying, you guys were definitely shorthands today, but you two really stepped in early to get this team off to a big lead, um, especially in the beginning of the second half. But then, you said you keep saying that you guys are shorthanded, but you guys were able to empty your bench, everyone scored. Uh, how do you guys feel about the future of this team with these young players and everyone on your bench being able to step in and score at the end of the game? Yeah, I think Jill touched on it earlier, we, or maybe it was Destiny, but we're a deep team, um, and I think that everyone just rose to the occasion when we saw that we were shorthanded, and I think it just shows um, our toughness and uh, our togetherness, our work for the season is togetherness, so I think that um, those, people, those players being able to step up and um, do their role when their name was called, I think that that shows our togetherness. Cora, Paige, and Caleb. There were occasions where both of you guys kind of play like a two-player game with Destiny where she would drive and either find you in a lob or a bounce pass. You guys would score. Just 
you guys talk about the development of chemistry in those areas and how you're able to kind of find those opportunities throughout the game? Yeah, um, Dez always knows when you're open, even when you don't think you're open. <laughs> like, you always just got to look for the ball when she's going in because, like I said, she'll get it to you when you don't even think she'll be able to get it to you. So just be able to, um, you know, open your eyes, um, make sure your hands are ready and be ready to catch and score. Yeah, I've always loved watching players like her. Um, and so to have someone on my team that is able to perform like her, it's, I'm like awestruck and ready for the ball every time that she's going up the court. Uh, Troy played y'all close in the first quarter. What is there a particular adjustment that you all made to be able to pull away and force get 100 points tonight? Um, looking back, I think that uh, we were probably sagging off a little more than we should have. Um, and I think that going into the second quarter, we um, put an emphasis on ball pressure and uh, limiting their offensive rebounds. And I think ultimately um, it just showed toughness, like we've been saying. Okay, well, and then Casey. For either player, y'all both set career highs of rebounding against Florida a and but tonight Carolina set another career high of rebounding. Is there something different this year compared to last to allow you to keep setting career highs and have more success in the boards? Um, I know we both work really hard and getting a lot of reps, um, getting practice outside of practice in our regular workouts, so I guess that's just showing now. Um, I know Carol is a really hard worker, so it's just showing now. You too. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's been a big emphasis from Coach Joy, too. Um, we've kind of stepped into this role as juniors, and I think that it's also a little bit of a confidence thing. I've got a lot of confidence in Jill and her abilities, and I feel the same um, feedback from her. So I think that just us being able to rely on each other when the ball goes up, um, I can be like, yeah, Jill's going to go get it. All right, I'm going to go get it. So I like that. Casey, Cora, and Maria. How do you think you guys can kind of jump start a little quicker going forward? I know you kind of touched on it a little bit, but moving forward, how do you think you guys can kind of speed that up? Um, maybe be the aggressor first, kind of like punch first. Um, whether that's, you know, ball pressure, like we said, that we need to do a little bit better mm -hmm. today. Um, whether that's, you know, knowing your personnel, um, getting in the passing lanes, pushing down on defense. Whatever the case may be, just being the aggressor first and just punching first before they do. This for Caroline. Um, in the third quarter, obviously there's a lot of game left. Troy made that push, cut the lead at 13, and, and Kai was really able to make an impact in that stretch to get you guys the lead back. Yeah. Just from seeing her from start to now, where do you feel like she's grown to be able to like capitalize in moments like that, where you know the momentum is kind of you know going back and forth, and to be able to make an impact in moments like that. Yeah, I think um, maybe in the past she was a little more timid, but now she's got a lot of confidence going up. Um, she's always been able to make plays like that, but I think that um, us getting the ball to her and her realizing that we know she can perform, um, I think that gives her a lot of confidence in taking shots like that. And obviously her ability and her speed allows her to do things like that in a tough game, a tight game. Maria and Paige. Caroline and Jillian, obviously challenges and opportunities Wait this week. You're headed to Florida to take on the Indiana and Oklahoma. Just, I mean, that's another big measuring stick. How are y'all going into this week preparing for what's ahead? Yeah, um, honestly, our sides have been really focused on this game, um, but now we're going to have to really lock in. We've got, I think, three top 25 matchups coming up, so um, we're just going to take it one game at a time, and we can't overlook any opponent ever. So um, it's going to take all of us. Um, we're just really going to have to lock in on the defensive end and, like Joe was saying, punch first at the beginning of every game so we don't have to uh, dig ourselves out of a hole. Paige. Uh, Jillian, when Kaya got the last three pointer of the game, you 100 points, you were in the background of my shot. I just saw how happy you were. Can you just walk me through your reaction? And I don't know if you heard the fans calling for 100 points too, but just what that sequence was like. Well, I didn't even hear the fans saying that, but um, <laughs> I was just trying to get it past half court, honestly. <laughs> I just pushed it up because we always talk about just pushing the ball up. Either that's a um, cross the court pass or, you know, straight up the uh, sideline. But when she hit that shot, I was just excited for her. I mean, she's been working on that. Um, she's been getting better and better. So just to see her hit that shot, already knowing it was going in, felt really, really nice. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thanks.